Hi, my name is Devin Cox. I'm the team lead of conversion at Inflow. Been doing conversion rate optimization for a long time, more than 14 years or so. And today I'm going to be talking about holiday tips to improve conversion. Top five things. There's lots of things you can do for the holiday, but these are some of the highest impact ones. So if you look at the screen share here, our first tip is to work on site speed and address any issues. Site speed is the only thing that always improves conversion rate. If you can improve your site speed, you will improve conversion rate. It's the only rule in conversion rate optimization. One of the ways we benchmark and measure this is with Google PageSpeed Insights. You're looking at a PageSpeed Insight report from Amazon. Your goal is to achieve a score of 80. 80 would be ideal. 60 is good. 60 is very good. In fact, it's very difficult to achieve a score of 60. A typical unoptimized score would be 20. So even if you're at 40, you're doing okay. I mean, really, you should look at your competitors and benchmark yourself against them. And if you're not beating them in page speed, then you're putting yourself at a competitive disadvantage and you're leaving conversion on the table. There are multiple components of page feed. I won't get into them, but the key is to work on your score, get it to 40, shoot for 60. There are easier things to fix than others. You should always start with a site speed plugin for whatever e-com platform you're on and see if you can get that score up with minimal dev resources. But if you have to go to a developer, some of these components are easier to fix for others. For example, cumulative layout shift is very easy to fix but some of these other items are not easy to fix. Also, your mobile score is what matters. It's easy to get a high score on desktop and you should have one, but the mobile score is the one that's hard and the one you should focus on. That's tip one. Tip two is to add easy seasonal elements. And these don't have to be fancy or involved. It can be as simple as a Christmas tree or ornaments on the global top nav, so it appears on every page of your site, to as detailed as every page has some kind of seasonal element. Here's Target's Halloween slash fall seasonal tile on their homepage. And of course, you should absolutely do that on your homepage. But this tip is more about having it be global. Usually we do something in the global header and sometimes in the global footer, though not many folks will see that. But if it's appropriate for your brand, you can even put special touches on your major template pages like your PDP and your PLP, and they raise conversion. We've A-B tested this multiple times and they raise conversion a point or two. They're not huge wins, but they're incremental and they're real. So that's tip two. Tip three is to focus or make prominent messaging and navigation around gift giving. Here is an example of Target's gift ideas page. So you'd want to have some kind of content or page or collection for your gift ideas like this, but you also then want to make links to it from prominent places on your homepage, even on your category page, and even if appropriate on your product pages. But the idea is that gifting is on everyone's mind. If you can make it easy to give a gift, an appropriate gift or a cool gift, that will increase conversion and it's very effective. Tip four is to focus on scarcity and urgency. This works all year, but even more so during the holidays when there's a very real chance that something will become or will go out of stock or be unavailable just because of the order volumes. And so this is an example on Amazon. Only one left in stock order soon. So there's two pieces to this. One is the threshold. We usually say anything 10 or below, depending on the product, of course. If it's a very high consideration product, very expensive product, you could even go five or below or even higher. But the idea is that as soon as the product goes to that stock level, you can put that in there and that definitely increases conversion. You can even do this without having access to inventory at SKU level. If you know something's going to sell out or it's limited quantity, you can use a little flag or a little badge that says limited quantity or likely to sell out soon. Both of those increase conversion almost as well as having the actual stock level. Last tip, number five, is to focus on your recommender widgets. Etsy does a good job 
of this. And the idea is that during holiday, lots of people will be in gifting mode. And so they're not sure exactly what they want to buy. It's not necessarily for themselves. And they might be looking for a cool gift and they're not quite sure what they want. And so they're going to be paying extra attention to your upsell cross sales. So you should carefully merchandise these, make sure that you are doing a good job of not only showing the things you want to push, but also the things that are based on popularity. So things that are best selling or are really relevant. And the main thing here is that if you haven't done this already, you should have at least two recommender widgets on a product page, maybe even three. Three also test well. But here we have more from the shop, which is kind of related items at the shop level that you may also like, which is related products, but even a third level, which is collections that are related. For your store, it might be, you may also like, and then also bought. Those are two different recipes or algorithms. And so this tip is all about making sure you have at least two recommender zones and that you go into them in detail and make sure they're as perfect as you can make them for the holiday season. Those are the five tips. All of these things we've A-B tested and proven that they work. So we're very confident to say that these are things that you should spend time and resource on and are effective. And I hope that this was helpful and good luck with Black Friday Cyber Monday.